yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, some newcomers, but also some uh, some people we've already seen a couple times. So uh, it'll be interesting. Well, no time to wait. Let's go and meet the athletes. Well, fascinating lineup here. Jean-Charles Valadon from France, who was a silver medalist at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Took gold here in Antalya in 2017. Going up against Ilfa Abdulin from Kazakhstan, the world number 28. He's a Tokyo Olympian, but this is his first final four. But as you said earlier on, Chef, he's done pretty well in the preseason. Yeah, he has done really well in the preseason. He uh, actually won the European Grand Prix in, uh, in Lillishall. So, um, so far, it seems like he's, uh, he's doing well. It felt like a very long hold and the buzzer tells us it was. It did indeed, but uh, he manages to stick it in X. So JC or Jean Charles, he um, uh, actually has a little bit more experience than uh, your average archer. Um, he's been to uh, 44 uh, World Cup yeah. stages. So, um, he's been around for quite some time. His first World Cup he shot was in uh, 2008 in uh, in France, actually in Boe. So um, yeah, this is not his first rodeo. This is no. the 12th World Cup he shoots in Antalya. Starting with the 29 is pretty impressive too. Puts it out of reach of Elfa Abdulin. Finishes with a nine for a 27. So bags of experience, as you're saying, in JC. But despite only shooting 27, not a bad start from Abdulin. He can get back into this. He can, for sure, yeah. And uh, uh, one of the experiences that uh, JC has had in his career was shoot against uh, Abdelin Ilfat at the test event in Tokyo, um, which, surprisingly, maybe, uh, Abdelin won with 6-4. to four. So um, that's, as far as I know, the only time they've met uh, before. And so JC maybe has some redemption to do here. Do you have room in your brain for anything other than archery knowledge? Um, <laughs> it's a bit of an issue, actually. <laughs> Very handy when you're sitting in the commentary box, though, Chef. And um, I'd, I'd have to say, uh, Abdulin, he doesn't have the worst. Uh, the worst preseason himself. He uh, made the final four at the Asian Cup in uh, was it Taipei? Uh, Taiwan, yes, yeah. in Chinese Taipei. Yeah. So uh, he's been uh, doing well as uh, as well. So both taken uh, zonal podium places. The second set starts with a nine from Abdelin. JC really has a strong shot at the moment and I'm saying at the moment because we've seen different sides of JC over the years um, he has shot a lot of World Cups but um, some of the World Cups that he shot were just not as impressive as, as others uh, he had some really good seasons in uh, 2016, 2017. Uh, obviously, 2016, he got the silver medal at the Olympics uh, and became a European champion. Um, 2017, he won this stage uh, of the World Cup, shooting against Brady Ellison in the final. Um, so 
we know that he can shoot really well. But over the last couple of years, I feel like he hasn't really shown his full potential. And I think he wants to change that this season. That was right on the buzzer, and it's resulted in a 26. Uh, so a 27 from Elfa Abdelin is enough to level the set point. He's hanging on to these arrows for an awfully long time, isn't he, JC? Yeah, he's never been a really fast uh, shooter, but yeah, he needs to maybe pick up the pace a little bit if he wants to prevent shooting more of these rushed shots uh, where he's fighting the clock. Um, on the other hand, uh, as a neutral viewer, this makes for a great uh, match because this allows uh, Abdulin to get back into the match and, uh, uh, yeah, you know, basically that, get back into the match. Does it feel like a bit of a missed opportunity or will it feel like that for Valadon? He, you know, if he'd shot another nine there, he would have squared the points in, in that set, in ten, and he would have taken them. Um, uh, probably, but um, there is no reason to dwell on the past, and uh, I think he'll just be looking for more good shots after uh, after this set. So I think he is good enough and experienced enough to um, have a good mental approach and, and to not um, only dwell on that last shot. The start of set number three, and we're all square here. We're also getting a nice look at um, JC's signature uh, way of drawing back his bow, uh, going all the way down with his uh, with his string hand. And I'm told that it has to do with uh, his shoulder dislocating if he pulls it back in a in a normal manner. So you can see how low his hand gets before he goes into anchor. Right on the buzzer again, but a 29. So the set points are his. Good end by uh, by Ulfat as well. Just two arrows, just low, just out of the ten uh, are what's costing him. But I mean, good group, and he seems to be shooting okay. He seems to not be super nervous. I mean, maybe not as relaxed as it seems that JC is, but. Yeah, I think uh, you're right, but I'm still fascinated by the fact that JC Valdon is running the clock down. He's done it a couple of times now where we've heard the coach counting down. He's, he counted down to two yeah. previously. They've known each other for a very long time as well. Uh, his coach is Romain Giroud. Uh, he used to shoot on the French national team as well. Um, actually, did really well uh, at that. Um, so I'm sure that they, they have communicated about this and they know what to expect from each other. Um, but I, I can also imagine that um, he wants JC to speed things up a little bit to make <laughs> his life a bit easier. I think you're right. It's good value for us, of course, watching, but uh, it does make for nervy moments. 4-2, the lead for Valamont over Abdelin. Good shot there. I think he actually knew that that was going to be slightly on the left, just judging by how he shot it. Nine. Really gunning for that throw, uh, or the, the comeback here. Square again. Nine. There it 
his highest score so far from Abdelin gets him the set points. His coach telling him that he's still slightly low with his last arrow. So I wonder if he's going to do anything with that information. Nine. So 27 from Valadon, not so bad. Yeah, interesting to, to have that, that little word after the final arrow of a set. Because does the break not make a little bit of an effect, a difference? It, it might, yeah, but um, it should make that much of an effect. Uh, this is what you're, what you're training for, right? You want to have all of your shots be as consistent as possible, so you don't want to uh, be in a situation where the break can really mess you up. But to me, it seems like the momentum was with JC, but it's kind of shifting a little bit now. Um, Ilfat has shot two very good ends here. And um, yeah, I think he he might well get the last end if he keeps shooting like this. Set, I should say. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I was just thinking as we were going through that full set, 10-9 ten, ten from Ilfat Abdelin, I'm thinking to myself, Surely JC's going to be thinking, how have I let this one get away? He was, he was looking commanding. Yeah, in the beginning he did. He, he started off right out of the gate with uh, with a 29. Uh, started the match with an X. Um, but then uh, I feel like uh, Ilfat is growing into this match rather than um, just settling with the scores that he was shooting. So, yeah, I think his scores have been building and JC's scores have been a bit on and off so Un unless JC is on <laughs> this set um. well that's it isn't it if he's not then uh, the momentum is very much with Abdelin we go into the fifth set and just to add to things despite Abdelin having those sunglasses on clouds are coming over and it's changing the light here Ten. So still slightly low, which is fine as long as you're in the tendering, but it'll be extra frustrating if he shoots a low 9 now. Is this the moment to capitalize? Oh, he's drifted out into the 8 and all of a sudden opens the door it really does and Valadon can put this one away with a 10 he gets that 10 for a 29 and JC did get it back on in the fifth set and another eight to finish with a 26 so a 6-4 victory for Jean-Charles Valadon, and he is in through to the recurve men's gold medal match.